Hello everyone, Mike Newfound Pass with this week's What Sold video. We have 20 items, all that sold on our main eBay account, so let's just jump right in. First up, we have these uh, tube socks. These are vintage tube socks, all brand new. Uh, there are six pair of them, and I list them, listed them individually for $6 a pair, so that'd be $36, you know, if someone bought them all. I uh, got these for about $5 at AmVets for the whole, for all six of them, five or six dollars. And, uh, I had a best offer on these and someone offered $3 a pair, but they bought all six of them. So I took that offer, had them for a while. Uh, so they paid $18 plus $10 and 50 cents shipping. So all in of $28 and 50 cents for the six pair of socks, the twin city tube socks. So it was pretty cool. Next up, next up, this Majestic 2003 World Series jacket. It's a satin jacket used. We got I got several of these at one time for like $7.50 each. Uh, I think I've sold all the rest of them. I think I may have one left. And this is the 2003 World Series, the 100th anniversary of the uh, World Series. And had this listed for $37.24 and took a best offer of $25.00. Plus ten dollars and fifteen cents shipping, so a total of thirty-five dollars and fifteen cents on the jacket. Next up, this awesome Jordan SRT logo remix hoodie, fifty-fifty split, brand new with the tags. This was a retail arbitrage thing. I paid up for this because I didn't know much about it. I just thought it was really cool. I paid forty dollars flat for this because you know we have a tax exempt certificate. And I had this listed fairly high and I kept dropping the price a little bit, dropping the price a little bit. And it got down to $80.37 and that's what it sold for. $80.37 plus $9.25 shipping for an all-in total of just over $90. So I uh, paid up, you know, $40 for it, but still really good profit in that. So you take him, you show you 10, so about $30 profit. So not in my ideal margins, but still made a profit off of a high cost item. Next up, these uh, Adriano Goldschmidt Ag Ed denim jeans, the Matchbox. And uh, yeah, I got these at our regular thrift store. Paid about $7.50 for these. Had them listed for $42.14. And that's what they sold for. Full asking $42.14 plus $14.20 shipping to Alaska. So a total of $56.34 for the uh, Adriano Goldschmidt jeans. It was really nice. Next up, uh, another safari and travel jacket. We had one of these, I think, in our last old video as well, but this is a different one. Uh, this is a Banana Republic green canvas. Uh, just used all the keywords, you know, hunting, trucker, jacket, you know, everything. This is a men's large. It still had the dry cleaning tag attached, so that was always nice. And it gave our typical about $5 for this at the thrift store. Had this listed for $36.87. And got a best offer and accepted a best offer of $25 plus $19.05 shipping. So that would be a total of... Ooh, that's up there, isn't it? That's a... Um, I don't know, I can't do math today, but that's a, that's a, that's a, high, that's a higher total. It's a, about just shy of $45. I don't know why that was so hard for me, but uh, yeah. So just shy of $45 for the... Uh, the safari jacket next up this nike golf dry fit uh, dark blue polo this is a lockheed martin shirt uh got this not too terribly long ago i uh, haven't had it for long at all and uh, paid just about just three dollars or so for these usually when they're have a logo like that uh they usually uh, have those at a lower price and uh, this was no exception had this listed for 27 dollars and 17 cents and accepted a best offer of $22 plus $8 shipping for an all-in total of $30 on the polo shirt. This I had for a really long time. This United States Air Force Flyers jacket. And this is a men's summer aramid fire resistant CWU. And this was a very small size too, a 36. Uh, that's like an extra small. <laughs> so, uh, But I only paid a few dollars for this and it had some... You could tell it was used. It was well worn because like the hook and loop sections were really worn where the patches were taken on and off. But it still had some value. You know, it only had a few dollars in it and had it listed for $36.50 and somebody shot me an offer of $20 and I went ahead and accepted. 
because, like I said, this had a few things going against it. It was a really small size, and it had some significant wear. So they paid that $20 plus $11.95 shipping for a total of $31.95. Next up, this Britax car seat uh, backpack. This is for, you know, travel, somewhere to put the uh, your car seat when you're traveling. You can use it as a carry-on, or you can check it, you know, with your bags if you're uh, flying somewhere. I uh, got picked this up for about seven dollars and fifty cents i uh, had it for quite a while had it listed for forty one dollars and seventy two cents and got an offer and accepted an offer of twenty five dollars and twenty cents plus fourteen dollars and eighty cents shipping so that was an all in total of forty bucks on this so you know you can tell what people do on this i, I said it last week too uh, people send these best offers because they want free shipping that's just the name of the game next up this Futaba Attack uh, RC Radio Control Unit. This was in the box. I listed this as is because I had no way to test it. I put batteries in it just to see if I could get it to do anything, and I couldn't tell, you know, if it was working or not. I had no idea. So I listed this. Uh, when I initially got it, I listed it for a fair price, you know, not anything super high or anything. But I ended up lowering the price and lowering the price and hit $22 listed, and that's what someone paid. $22 plus $11.95 shipping. For a total of $33.95. And they've already left positive feedback. And they said it worked great. So <laughs> there you go. Next up this Foot Joy Drop Needle Half Zip uh, Men's Pullover Sweater. This isn't like the performance jackets I usually get. This is an actual sweater like, like material. This is brand new with the tags. Let me show you there. Brand new. An extra large. Really good size. This is really, really high quality. And I uh, picked this up for $7.50 or so. And I had this listed for $61.48. And got and accepted an offer of $50 plus $14.20 shipping for a total of $64.20 on the sweater. That was really good. Next up, the Western Digital 160 gigabyte 7200 RPM hard drive. This is an ID or ATA model. And this was brand new in the packaging, and I paid. I remember, I remember they got saw this at the thrift store, and I left it because it was full price. I think it was twelve bucks, and the next week it was half off, so it was six bucks. And I went ahead and got it then, <laughs> and uh, had this listed for twenty six dollars and ninety cents, and that's what it sold for twenty six ninety plus six ninety nine shipping. So an all in of uh, thirty about thirty five dollars or so. Next up, these Black Diamond foot Front Point GTX Gators. These are like almost like what they called spats and what I remember them calling them. But they call them Gators now. And these are a medium size, brand new with the tags. And we just paid a few bucks for these. I can, If they were a bigger size, I would have kept them. But a medium wouldn't go around me. So um, I had these, you know, paid a few bucks for them. I had them listed for not very long. And I had them for twenty eight eighty two. Plus shipping, and that's what they sold for $28.82 plus $4.39 first class shipping. So just over $33 or so. Next up, another Foot Joy bag. Uh, the lot of like 12 of these I got, and I paid $5 each for them. And I've sold, I think we're up to six or seven of these sold now. And I had this lowered the prices a little bit, a little bit, and had they were down to $47, and somebody gave me an offer of $40 and I accepted $40 plus $11.60 shipping for a total of $51.60 on the foot joy bag. Next up the Tommy Bahama golf mat shirt, camp shirt, 3XL, new with the tags. I thought this was really neat and it looks plain on the front, doesn't it? And maybe I should have made the main picture of the back though, because check out the back. Isn't that really cool? You remember that from the haul video about, uh, it's been a month or two or so. Uh, it hasn't been too terribly long. But yeah, this is a really neat shirt. It says golf match on the back. There's the tags right there. And we gave our typical about seven fifty or so for this. It's 100% silk. It's just a really, really neat Tommy Bahama shirt. And had it listed for $46.10. And I had a flurry of offers right from the get-go. Like everybody wanted this for 30 bucks, you know, or something. And I just kind of resisted because I thought it was worth more. And my line was about 40 bucks or so. And that's what this sold for. Somebody sent an offer of 40 bucks and I accepted $40 plus $9.30 priority mail shipping. 
think this would have fit in first class, but they wanted it priority mail. So you give the customer what they want. <laughs> Check this out. You remember this from the haul video, uh, two haul videos ago, the, the one before I did this week. We, my wife saw this rolling out on the cart and she snatched it up. It didn't even chance, get a chance to get on the shelf because she knew instantly when she saw it. And we paid $7.50 for this. Yep, they had it listed for 10 bucks, you know, price for 10 bucks, and we got 25% off. And we have a tax exempt certificate. So $7.50. So when I was researching this, there was a ton of solds anywhere, from, you know, 175 to 225 or so. What set ours apart, though, was it is in fantastic condition. You know, none of the uh, wrappings were cracked or anything. It was just super good condition. And it had this tag still on it. And, you know, it's worn and beaten there, but it's, you can almost make out England on it. I don't know if you can see the, the writing there going down it. But, yeah, that's what set ours apart. It still had the original tag on it there. And I listed this high because, you know, I just, you know, why not? You saw the solds, you saw the comps. Let's just shoot a little bit higher because it's in really good shape. Listed for $200, $250 and it sold within 24 hours. It's gone. $250 plus, get this, it went to California. So shipping on it was $61.95. And it took every bit of that $61.95 to ship this because this thing was big. And I boxed it, you know, super protected. I had to custom build a box. Custom building a box for this took me about 30 minutes. But it was worth it because, you know, I didn't want to go out and buy a $15 box. Because, like I said, $61.95, it took every penny of that to send this and the cheapest way to send this ended up being FedEx, you know, cause I checked everything. I checked postal service. I checked UPS and I checked FedEx and FedEx by far was the cheapest 61.95. So $250 plus 61.95. So that's an all in of $311 and 95 cents on the mid century rattan Ottoman. That's a pretty good find, doesn't it? Next up, the Heli Hansen Windbreaker. Uh, this was embroidered with uh, Rise to Phoenix 5.0 2018. And we picked this up for really cheap. You know, it was embroidered, say, had it marked for like four, you know, we got it for like four bucks or something like that. And I listed this for, you know, a little bit lower than I would have. If this would not have been embroidered, I'd probably went for 40 or $45. But I listed it and uh, it ended up selling for $31.38, exactly what you see there on the screen, plus nine forty five shipping. So a total of $40.80 or so. Next up, this TiVo Premier Series 4 uh, DVR recorder. Uh, at 1080p, 45 hours of recording. This thing was brand new. It was sealed. It was brand new. I got this at our thrift store that's right by us, which we haven't been going to lately, but I could tell this was new because, look, the batteries are still there sealed. All the cables and wraps in there in their plastic sealed up. Everything was brand new in this box. The TiVo itself still sealed, wrapped up in the plastic. And I picked this up for about 10 bucks. And I initially had it listed, you know, really high. And I've been dropping it and dropping it. And it got down to 8109 And I still had best offers on. And somebody um, offered me $55. And I accepted. $55 plus $23.90 shipping. So that is a total of $78.90 for the TiVo. So not bad for only having 10 bucks in it. Next up, this uh, new inbox papyrus uh journal this is a leather journal brand new in the box I check that out it's pretty neat that raw leather gets a uh, marred very easily you know that has those scuffs on it that's just normal shelf wear but this is brand new in the original box and we gave just a few bucks for this and uh sold for full asking of 25 dollars plus 10 dollars and 40 cents shipping so a total of 35 dollars and 40 cents and this person has also already left positive feedback, so that's really nice. Next up, this Ella Vickers recycled sailcloth bag. And this was, had the number three on it, and this was more like a tote or anything. My wife picked this up. I don't even remember where she picked it up, but she only gave a few dollars for it. And uh, I got it listed, and it only lasted for just a few weeks. And somebody paid full asking of $44.73 for it, plus $10.40 shipping. So it's an all-in of just over $55 for the uh, sailcloth bag. 
And last item is this Auric cordless iron, the TX850. It's in the original box. I could not call it new. It just, it just, it wasn't. It just wasn't new, but it looked perfect. It looked like somebody bought this and maybe used it a time or two. And uh, yeah, just put it in their closet and didn't ever use it again. Ended up at the thrift store. I paid uh, $5 or $7.50 for it or so, something like that. Had it listed up at $30.45, and that's what it sold for. $30.45 plus $11.10 shipping, so a total of $41.55 on the Auric Iron. So that is it, everyone. That is our, what, 20 items that sold on eBay. So I want to thank everyone, all of our old subscribers, new subscribers, and everyone in between. I want to give a big shout-out and thank you to our patrons. You guys are great. We appreciate it a million. Uh, you doing what you do just helps us... Uh, take the time to put you know make, make and edit and post these videos so we do appreciate that so thanks guys uh we are we're going to do a little th bit things differently this weekend thrifting wise we're going to go out instead of sunday we're going to go out on saturday because i want to hit some garage sales and some and some maybe some estate sales and we still will hit our normal thrift stores even though maybe you know they won't have the 50 percent off stuff but that's okay so Maybe we'll see, have a little bit of different uh, thrift haul next week. So we'll have to wait and see. But thanks, guys. And we'll see you guys next time.